What's up? This is Buddy with the Where We Wild YouTube channel and today I'm at Bass Pro Shops. We're gonna go do a little shopping. I'm gonna try to show you all some of my favorite lures and gear and we're gonna have some fun. It's been a while since I've been here. It's been a few days so let's get in there and have some fun. They call me the fishing buddy. Bass Pro Shops. I'm home. I love this goddamn place. It's beautiful. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite baits and my favorite gear. We're going to check it out. I love this over here. That's a good sized fish right there. How you doing, buddy? I saw a video the other day of some clowns running in here and jumping right into the tank. And that right there, that's what happens when you give your kid an iPad instead of a smack in the mouth, if you ask me. Good stuff. That's a big ass trout right there, boy. That right there, that's a good sized fish. That's about the size of one I caught over at the goon last time. That's a good fish. Summertime, they'll definitely be hitting them frogs right about now. You wanna throw them up right on the shoreline, get some top water action. You can throw a frog out there this time of year, summertime. What else we got in here? I'll tell you what, I like to look at these right here. Sexy shad made by Robo Worm. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the robo worms. These old guys look good too. Look at those little three inch alive shads. Drop shot in those bad boys. That'll work. Here's one of my all time favorite baits right here. A little Gary Yamamoto Senkos. Can never go wrong with that. You don't catch them on a black Gary Yamamoto, you might as well go to hell home because you ain't going to catch them on nothing else. Here you go right here. This is always a good, uh, good bait to use. You want to throw a little bit of a Ned Rig, these Z-Man TRDs. Never go wrong, maybe something like a little green pumpkin flavor, PB and J, that'll work for you. Those small mouth, they go crazy for them. Catch a few largies on them too. I caught some good fish on the old Ned Rig, TRDs. Z-Man, 10 times tough. I like it, I'm a fan. I was thinking about picking me up a new rod, but Jesus Christ, they don't even have anything in here. There's probably 10 rods in this whole damn store right now. Yeah, I usually go medium action, maybe medium light for some Smaller fish, but seven foot rod. Not a bad little rod right there. Let's check it out. Yeah, there you go, six six medium. It's a little short for me. A little flipping stick. Tell you what, boy, summertime can't go wrong with throwing a popper out there. Top water hits. I can't tell you how many big fish I caught on a top water popper just like that. Throw it out there, nice and slow. Pop pop pop. Wait a minute. Pop pop pop. Wait a minute. Take your time, fish it nice and slow. One of those big old bass come up, swallow that thing whole. Take that to the bank. The way I like to string up my rods is I usually go with, with a little mono as my backing. And then I'll throw some of this 20 pound Power Pro on there. 
fill my spool up with that. And then I like to go back to another eight pound mono for some leader. You can do a little fluoro if that's your thing, but I'm fine with a little eight pound mono. Fish are so damn picky out in California. You gotta, you gotta go up to a mono leader. They'll see that braid every time and they'll run away from you. You don't want that. That ain't fun. Hey, Marcy. Hey, buddy. When the hell are you guys getting some new rods in here? There ain't shit here. I think next week. I'll be here tomorrow. Well, that's what I'm talking about right there. I gotta get me one of these. How much is this goddamn thing? Got that Minn Kota trolling motor. Good lord. I'll tell you what, don't tell anybody. I don't want to get kicked out of here, but I got a little bit of a chubby in my pants right now, I'll be honest. Some good stuff right there. Beautiful, beautiful boat. They got a big enough live well in here or what? These garments are pretty interesting. I don't have a boat, but I was thinking about picking one of them up, maybe slap it on a rental boat or just maybe slap it on my backpack and swim out there, maybe see what the hell's going on one of these days. I don't even know. Eh, honestly, all these tools and shit, I don't even need them. Well, goddamn, maybe I'll grab me a moon pie. That looks good. Look at this line here. I don't even know how long I'm gonna be waiting in line. I'll be standing here for four years. I'll tell you what, I love this goddamn place. I can sit here all day. I was in here for about, I don't know, about four hours. Got me some stuff, some baits I don't want you to know about. Gotta keep some stuff a secret, right? No magician reveals all his secrets. You just can't do it. But I did show you some baits that I do like to use. Got me some cool stuff. It's always a good time out here. And these moon pies, every time I come, I gotta get me one of these. Let's go. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like and let me know in the comment section if you had fun watching this and yeah if you enjoyed this sort of thing look at old glory up there don't forget to hit subscribe thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time just ordered this mailbox it should be here in about two weeks or so Excuse me, miss, would you be interested in a mustache ride? Definitely. I love this goddamn place. I'll probably be back tomorrow, to be honest with you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and let me know in the comments if you had fun. Ah, shit. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Great. Shit. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.